Hello, travelers. I'm Wheelchair Jimmy, and I'm rolling through one of the most spectacular places on the planet today, New Zealand's Milford Sound. Now, it's in our book of a thousand places to see before you die, and it really is spectacular. It's a must-see. The Milford Sound is located in the Fiordla National Park, which is on the south end of the South Island here in New Zealand. You know, it's also a rainforest, so, so be aware. Now, the problem, of course, is getting here if you're in New Zealand. You can take one of those large cruise boats like a Princess Cruise that tours of the Fiordland National Park on a, on a good weather day, and we did that. But really, if you want to get the full experience of the Milford Sound, you should drive here, which we also did. The drive here from Tiano is about two and a half hours, and it is also in our book as one of the most scenic drives in the world. Now, if you have the opportunity, it is spectacular and a real memory, so, so leave plenty of time. Now, there are several scenic and accessible stops throughout the drive, although several are quite steep. There is one, just one, wheelchair accessible public restroom in a level area along the way. So you'll drive to the Milford Terminal, uh, which is very wheelchair-friendly and, and, frankly, quite large. Uh, there's wheelchair-accessible parking, and with inside, there's a, a reasonably large public restroom, which is accessible. And really, there's no steps uh, throughout the terminal or even out in the dock area, as they have well-designed ramps, even to the boats. The cruise tour into the Sound takes a couple hours, and there are several small cruise boats available from the terminal. Now, we booked the Miter Peak cruise boat online several months in advance. The boat entry was accessible, I think for most manual wheelchairs, on the open air back deck only, which is where I sat. You'll also see that there is a 12-inch riser to access the boat interior, so I didn't do that. Now, the advantage to this smaller boat that it's considered more agile and gets closer to, to some of those magnificent waterfalls and viewing areas. However, there is no restroom. The Real Journeys cruise boat set right next to ours was, was quite a bit larger, looked to have excellent wheelchair access. So, so after our cruise, I went to their information desk. Uh, they said their boat was accessible and had an accessible uh, restroom. Now, I've been misled by Real Journeys before, but this looked promising. The Juicy Cruise Tour boat here is definitely not wheelchair accessible. Now, I was not able to determine if the Southern Discoveries boat was accessible or not as the information desk was not staffed. Now, two side notes. One, you're in a rainforest, so bring bug lotion for the gazillion mosquitoes. And two, as you'll see in the background, the optional $35 underground observatory at Hamilton Cove is not accessible, so don't spend the money. On the WHR Index, well, the Milford Sound Journey, it gets a three. I thought everything was very wheelchair-friendly. You know, if I had to do this over again, I'd probably opt for the uh, Real Journeys Cruise Boat over the Miter Peak Boat, as it appeared to be a bit more accessible. But if you get to New Zealand, you absolutely must visit the Milford Sound. You know, the canyon walls, the rock formations, the waterfalls, the sea lions, boy, this is a unique setting in the world, and it really belongs in that book of a thousand places to see before you die. You must visit here. Roll on, America!